Hello right, guys, welcome to uh, Tucker's Video Recipe Cook. We're following on from uh, Liam's Lockdown Banana Cake. They got more likes than me, which is... Um, understandable. Understandable, fair enough. So I decided to up my game a bit this week. Uh, we're gonna do a, a homemade, slow cooked brisket, bit of spud, veg, jalapeno, cheese, and a nice jus to finish off all in a pasty. So here we go guys, what I did, had a lump of brisket, uh, put it in a slow cooker, uh, as per the instructions there, eight hours on low. I browned it off first with a bit of onion, added some beef stock, red wine, and you can really herb it up with some uh, bay leaves, spices, bit of star anise, really get that flavor. When it's cooked, separate the meat from the juice, and then stick it both in the fridge overnight, and that way, all that juice, the fat rises to the top, and it can just be scraped off, and you can use that to, uh, to make your sauce to finish. So, shortcut trip pastry, two sheets, which I prepared earlier. Uh, nice bit of brisket here. Like, see, I just pulled it apart and it just, you know, sort of uh, melted in your mouth soft there. Uh, I'm just going to put those two in there. We need a bit more meat, do I? I'll just get a little bit more, actually. There you guys. Yeah. So the great thing about these, they come in one kilo blocks, you know, you can cook up this brisket on the weekend or, or when you when you got a bit of spare time and then just keep it in the fridge and last last sort of a good a good five days easy. I think that's enough, is it? A bit more just to finish off. Um two and three, there you go. And then got a bit of spite. I just put this in the microwave for about five minutes just to soften up. Because really everything in here is pretty much cooked um, and then we just want to really cook that pastry make sure everything is heated all the way through there's a little bit of spud there perfect and then we got a bit of veg again this is just frozen veg and i just uh, defrosted the microwave so it really is like a quick sort of a quick midweek fix a bit over there and then um, i'm going to jazz mine up a bit Got a couple of these little uh, homegrown jalapenos and then I've got a bit of cheese egg and use a bit of a really good uh, mature cheddar or even just uh, whatever cheese you got in the fridge um, that can go over there and then that meat that you had separated you can um, this is the sort of uh, the jus that came off you know been in the fridge so I'm just gonna pop a couple of spoonfuls um, to uh, we don't want to get it too wet but just enough so you get that little bit of flavor on it same over here for oh my good lady doesn't like cheese or jalapenos she misses out on that oh. all right done so it's that there a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper to lock in that flavor Then we're gonna go ahead and form our pasty. Zoom down, turn that off a second. Alrighty. So basically, you just wanna first of all just sort of fold it over and make sure that everything's sealed up. So just have these out of the freezer uh, for a few minutes just to soften them up. So first off, you really wanna just somehow just squash it down there. I don't do much with pastry, but. What I read there, just make sure it's all nice and sealed up so that uh, hopefully nothing escapes. Alrighty, and then we're gonna sort of fold it over, press it down, fold over, press down. So just along that, any sort of way, just to try and make it look a bit pretty and also to uh, make sure that it's all well and truly sealed in. I'm just coming on this side, so I'm just sort of folding over, pressing down my thumb. Just move down. Oops. Over there. Press down. Over there. Press down like that. There you go. Hopefully that's going to work. And then uh, just got a bit of egg wash, just to 
brush that pastry so hopefully this goes nice and uh, golden brown when it's cooked so there you can use a bit of sheet of uh, baking paper as well which I haven't got so I'm just gonna dazzle a little bit of egg wash on there and hopefully it doesn't fall apart <laughs> hold there we'll knock that flavor in so there you go that's basically done i've just preheated the oven that's on fan so i'm gonna go about 150 um and maybe 170. Bye guys. Bye, bye, bye. hey buddy how are you hi we're making pasties today you want a pasty i'm gonna try to make a oh you're making truffles there you go it's come from banana cake to truffles and i'm gonna pop this into the oven i'm gonna check it after about 15 minutes like i say everything's cooked we just want to cook that pastry and get it nice and golden brown. So 150 on the fan and 170 no fan. Uh, I'm going to check it in 15 minutes. Okay, so our pasties have been in the oven for about 25 minutes. Um, I just checked them so now they have a little bit more to go. And they are done. So now this, this hasn't gone too hard and too browned. Um, we did a try one where it cooked a bit too hot and the pastry got hard and quite dark brown and it wasn't so good so I'm just trying it a little bit lighter this time um, I can't remember which one's got the cheese and jalapeno so the wife might be in for a shock alrighty so I'm just gonna serve these up so basically you got everything in there your veg your spuds your meat um, it's all done a bit of, I think it's this one but I'm really not too sure. You see any cheese in there? Yeah, I can smell the jalapenos. Oh yeah, cheese there. There you go, there's a little bit of cheese coming up yeah. the side there. There you go, so that's mine. So guys, that was at uh, uh, been there for about 25 minutes. I'm just going to pop that onto a plate. The markets are on this weekend um, at level 2. So hopefully we shall be back to level 1. Um, looking like the weather is going to be fantastic. We've got the America's Cup starting. Um, Wales are on their way to a Grand Slam in a fortnight. Two more wins to go. Um, so yeah, things are looking good. And we've got the races this Saturday, hopefully. Alrighty, so I'm just gonna pop this on here. Plates have just been warm out. So you go, there's a bit of cheese just oozing out there, and I can smell those homegrown jalapenos. There you go, that looks pretty good. Inside. And then it's what we did is with that sort of uh, stock that we'd put into the fridge. As you see, we put a little bit of this. The rest of it, uh, we just put through a sieve. There's any bits of bay leaf in that can be obviously quite uh, quite hard and a bit of star anise it breaks up and is obviously quite hard. So it's put it through a sieve. And then we just got left with a lovely Jew. I added some more red wine, I put a bit of marmite, a bit of strawberry jam, and then a nice knob of butter at the end just to give it that silky sort of uh, silky finish. You can add whatever you like, you know, whatever it feels like. Boysenberry jam is really good. Um, I like the marmite, it gives it that nice sort of beefy flavour. I'm just going to pop a little bit of that over the top. Mmm. It's pretty good. And dinner is done. It's still time to order a pack. Hopefully, if he, uh, nice day Saturday, pop down to see us. It'd be great to see everybody. Um, otherwise, everybody stay safe, enjoy cooking. And if you can like the video, um, I need to get more likes on my son to win my 10 bucks back off him. So everybody have a great weekend. Thanks for watching. Enjoy cooking. Cheers. Bye.